That sounds like hell. I've heard about people who have had hiccups for just a decade and then it stopped. How do you live? Oh my god, I hate hiccups. They hurt me so bad. I'm sure they do. They're so painful. I, I had hiccups one time for like an hour and I thought I was gonna die. Oh, uh, I understand. It's all... Hiccups oh. are painful. I know they are. I've seen it. Yeah, and they make your whole body shake. I'm sure there's several people out there in the community who have the fibromyalgia. Mmm, yes, yes. That, that causes hiccup pain. It can, it totally can. Hmm? Do you do, Ruku? Do you sn do sneeze? Oh, hiccups hurt? Hiccups hurt people. Everyone needs to try the special trick that I had taught you on another site on how to cure hiccups. Thankfully, there is a cure. Yep, you're welcome. Is it, is it, you can't say the trick, can you? <laughs> I can describe it with colorful language. My sister knows some- oh, thank you cats for the dono. My sister knew someone who popped a lung because of sneezing? That's totally <gasps> possible. It happens all the time. You can cough and have a collapsed lung from coughing too much or too hard. It depends on the, the fragility of your lung. How do you know if your lungs are fragile? Oh, you'll know. You'll know. Oh. You'll, <laughs> n you'll, you'll just know? You'll know. All right. <laughs> yeah, you could also sneeze and break a rib. Broke okay, your rib more. sneezing? I didn't break it sneezing. I had, uh, it was when... So I have, I have a lung disease, okay? I have a lung disease called MAC. And there, there are multiple, like, types of strains that I have. Uh, typically, like, a person can carry, like, the bacteria of, like, MAC. And they'll be fine. But, like, a person with, uh, immune deficiency disease, the, the bacteria starts to get real bad. And it starts to eat away at you and do a lot of stupid shit. So, you get a lot of, like, symptoms that are similar to, like, uh, tuberculosis and stuff like that. Like, a lot of coughing, coughing of blood, and, like, uh, weakness. And you feel like you're, like, suffocating and all that stuff, right? So when I first got it, I remember I used to have these horrible coughing fits where I would not stop coughing. And one time I coughed so hard that I cr I cracked a rib. I fractured. Was it a fracture? I don't remember. It was something. I hurt myself. I was in the hospital for a long time. I think I was there for like maybe five months. It wasn't it wasn't a fun time. But you can't really do anything. You just gotta like let it. He it heals on its own. Like there's nothing that you can really do but get pain meds and stuff and try not to move. <laughs> but it, it, it's not fun. I'm glad it heals on its own, but. Uh, yari yari does he? Yari yari does he? <laughs> oh my god. I don't like telling these stories because I don't like making people feel uncomfortable. I, because of the bacteria that I got, I now have the lung disease form of MAC. Uh, it's a, it's a really, it's a really weird thing that only affects like old people and people who have immune problems. With like a normal person, because you can't catch it from person to person. You, it's like a bacteria in the air, but it's in like water droplets. So like the bacteria can live in like a hot tub. Funny enough, it could live in a hot tub, which is why sometimes uh, they call it hot tub lung. So people who are in hot tubs a lot, they can get it or they can, you could get it from like having steamy showers and like it can be in your shower head, but like you can get it and you can have it your whole life and nothing will happen to you because you're fine you're a normal human but for some reason in people that have problems like me it goes crazy everyone clean your shower heads clean. immediately when you get off the computer go clean your shower head immediately yeah you could um it's uh i don't remember wait hold on let me see it's called mycobacterium avium complex or Microbac yeah or it's mycobacterium the it's teenager of the lungs how do you clean a shower head uh i don't know i think you're supposed to put it in like some sort of like a uh, bleach or something i don't know i don't know where i got mine from it just one day i was started feeling really sick and it was getting really bad and uh it, it was worse each time and my doctor's like i think you have a problem Fun because fact this is about like even excessive for you pass each year because they please themselves <gasps> too much one passed away because he had a heart attack why, from why having that a happen? vacuum on his you know what why did i get it well you said excessive for you why was it because, like, I, you know, because of my, my immune problem, like, I get sick a lot. But mm. I started getting, like, weird, like, even worse weird sick than normal. And they were like, okay, there's something extra going on. And then they found out that I had that. And they were like, oh, well, this happens to your kind. <laughs> <laughs> this happens to you, people. It happens to your kind. 
I learn things all the time, my goodness. The world is just out to get everyone, huh? Yeah, it's it's bad. There's a uh, unfortunately there's there's different variants of it and there's like no cure at all. You could just like treat it and calm it down, which is why I'm on medicine for like ever. And there you can get like severe lung damage and that damage never goes away. Like it's always there. So it's like I will always have like a, a cough. I'll always have a cough. Uh, I'm on a lot of like meds right now and a lot of like breathing meds that help but uh i'll always have a cough and i'll always have moments where i know like sometimes i'm on stream and if i talk a lot i start coughing and my cough sound like really weird and like as if i have like bronchitis yeah that's normal that's like a normal thing <laughs> okay because i've noticed that before and i'm like oh no is it bronchitis and or pneumonia oh no a mouse go lay down now that i know that it is normal for you yeah it's normal. I will be okay i'll be less scared about it acid reflex that's very common it's normal because i produce a lot of like gunk. <laughs> I press a lot of gunk. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny. I think gunk is a funny word. <laughs> It could be, it, Matt can be found in soil, food, dust, and water. Jesus Christ, it's, why the earth? It's everywhere, it's everywhere. And it enters the body when you're breathing or if you're swallowing food or water. So I could have gotten from ever, anywhere. I could have gotten it from drinking water somewhere or maybe from like eating a, a food made somewhere or, or even, cause I don't, I've never been in a hot tub and I've never gone to like pools and shit. So I definitely did not get it from there, but I did get it from something. I don't know where, not really sure. But it just one day I just know that I had it and it was like oh. What would you recommend to the folks at home? Like annual checkups or how can they protect themselves I the best from the elements? For the most part, people are fine. You're fine. Like you probably have some inside of you right now. Whoa! You probably have some inside of you right now, but it won't really do anything because it doesn't really affect affect a normal person, you know. But if I you were to like start annoying. getting really sick and like your immune system would lower and stuff, maybe it might start getting poopy. Yeah. I guess that's fair. Same with COVID. Yeah, don't honestly. have CVID. <laughs> CVID? Don't have CVID, bruh. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> don't have CVID. A lot of shitty things are in all of human bodies. Lots of them. It's when you have a surplus of them that you should be concerned as well. Yeah. True, 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 true. <laughs> Bro, just don't have health conditions. You know what? You're right. I'm fine. I'm fine, though. Please don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm on treatment. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. I'm fine. I'm o I am I am a okay. I am fine. I take meds and I live my life. And I, that's why I don't like talking about it because it's embarrassing. And uh, <gasps> sorry. No, it's okay. It's it's fine. If people ask, I don't mind. But I just. Uh, it's it's just like an embarrassing thing, and uh, I I I just I just want to be uh uh normal. Follow, like, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, it's like I'm making a fucking YouTube ending.